flow asynchrony is one of the manifestations of patient ventilator interaction and should be recognized in order to make appropriate adjustment on the ventilator for patient's comfort. The adequacy of flow during volume control ventilation can be evaluated with pressure time waveform. Since the total work performed during the breath is the sum of the patient's work and the ventilator's work, we can evaluate the relative contributions of both by comparing the shapes of the pressure time waveform in passive inflation breath and assisted breath. In passive inflation breath, the waveform has a defined pattern based on the type of the flow. In this case here, it is a constant flow, thus the pressure rises steadily to the peak inspiratory pressure. In patient triggered breath or assisted breath, the additional patient's effort dishes out the pressure waveform relative to the amount of patient's work performed. So you can see the concavity of the pressure waveform caused by the patient's inspiratory effort. If you lay the passive inflation breath over the assisted breath, we can recognize this hatched area that illustrates the pressure time product and represents the patient's effort contributed to the delivery of the breath. So the bigger the pressure time product, the more effort the patient is doing during inspiration. We can see this in these two examples here. The first is on the second breath here, you can see scooping of the inspiratory pressure indicating patient's effort. This indirectly indicates that the, in, the, the set flow on the ventilator is inadequate and should be increased. In the second breath here, you can see in the second example here, you can see how the second breath is scooped down and this is increasing on the third breath. So there's increasing patient's inspiratory effort and this indicates that the set inspiratory effort on the machine, the set inspiratory flow on the machine is inadequate and should be increased. Thank you.